Hey guys, this is Justin at Thrust Survivor Review. And I know it's been a while since my last unboxing video. Well, I'm going to make up for that since I got a bunch of stuff today. A lot of stuff came out today. But instead of just showing them all in one video, I wanted to do separate videos for each item. Just because I always like to take my time with each item and always, you know, show it off properly. I just try to cram everything in one. I won't have all the videos up today. They should all be up by tomorrow. But either way, let's get started with a steelbook. And of course, a Marvel steelbook. The latest from from Marvel Studios, this time in association with Sony Pictures, Spider-Man Homecoming. This is the Best Buy exclusive 4K steelbook that comes with the 4K Blu-ray and the regular Blu-ray disc. This is just continuing the line of steelbooks that Marvel's been doing for every Marvel movie that I've been picking up since they've started, or almost since they started. So, let's open this up and take a look inside. Alright, so you got the front right here, you got the back J card with all the info and stuff, taking that off. It's really weird to get a Marvel movie that doesn't have the typical Disney, like, cardboard uh, J card. It's actually, you know, different because it's a Sony release. Really weird, but either way, taking a look at the artwork here, I love this artwork. I think this artwork's pretty great. You got front right there, you got the spine, and you got the back. Really awesome. This is um, actually concept art that was done for the movie, and I think just fits the steelbook well. Inside, you got the digital copy code, of course, an ad for 4K, and um, just some iTunes stuff, Spider Man. And inside is where the steelbook kind of falters a bit. You got the inside there, you got two discs here. I like the design on the discs, that's actually pretty nice. Here's the regular Blu ray. And you have the 4K Blu-ray. This was the only steelbook that was done for the movie. There wasn't like a special like regular Blu-ray one. There's only one steelbook, just 4K and regular Blu-ray. Which kind of sucks for me since I have no use for the 4K disc, but whatever. Inside art here, yeah, that's, yeah, that kind of sucks. <laughs> that's kind of underwhelming. But you know what, they make up for it for the outside artwork here, which actually um, goes over the entire steelbook. Yeah, right there. Love it. The only problem with the steelbook is that it is matte finish. It's a matte finish steelbook, so not glossy. And to be honest, the steelbook would have really benefited from being glossy. And it probably would have been one of the best if it was. I think a glossy a cover to this would just work so great and just have it pop even more. I mean, as it stands, there's no embossing on it, and it's just a plain matte finish. Uh, luckily, mine doesn't seem to be chipped at all because matte finish steelbooks chip so easily. But yeah, Aside from that, this is a really nice steelbook. I love the uniqueness of the artwork. It's very different from the other Marvel steelbooks that's been done in the past. It's very unique, and I, I like it. I think it's cool. But I will say this, I found this funny, is that it does have the same thing that the other Marvel steelbooks did by just crappily pasting the logo in the middle of the steelbook there. Instead of finding a way to make this, you know, the logo actually, like, fit, have, like, you know, Spider-Man and then Homecoming, it's just, like, the logo, like, pasted in the middle of the steelbook there. Which is how every Marvel steelbook is. So, I guess they got that going for it. That's actually consistent. That'll look fine on the shelf. Because most Marvel steelbooks have barely readable titles on their spines. Only, like, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 had, like, a really good one. But this actually matches it, so that's great. But, yeah, overall, though, really awesome steelbook. As for availability on it, um, I went to my Best Buy right as it opened, and I didn't, they didn't have a new release like part in the back like they normally do. They just had the front display, so I can't exactly say how much they had, but they had like a good maybe like eight or so copies there. So I think it'll end up being pretty limited. It's a Marvel Steelbook, so it probably won't last very long. Definitely pick it up right away if you can, if you're a fan of this movie. Again, it comes with the 4K disc and the regular Blu-ray. Could have done without the 4K, but, you know, what you gonna do? Eventually I'll get 4K, and then it'll, it'll be all good. And just an awesome, unique steelbook. One more look, you got the front right there. I love that artwork. You got, like, the um, artist's name on the bottom there, which is really cool. Because, again, this was just concept art that was done for the movie, but it's really cool, actually. It's really solid. Back there, awesome artwork of the Vulture fighting Spider-Man. And then you got inside art there. So yeah, awesome steelbook. Only real problem is the, you know, really bland spine and the lack of glossy, a glossy finish because with a glossy finish, this steelbook would look friggin' incredible and probably be one of the best. But as it stands, still pretty badass. I still like it a lot. 
As it stands, still an awesome steelbook, definitely a badass. An awesome steelbook for an awesome movie that I never got around to reviewing on the channel, but I actually liked this movie a lot. I enjoyed the hell out of it, so I really can't wait to watch it again and just enjoy myself for two hours. So that's the Best Buy exclusive Spider-Man Homecoming 4K steelbook, and that's about it for now, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later.